First of all, really good friends of mine. It's nice to be, first of all, with musicians who know my playing and are just very mature in their choices, and also to be with good friends that, uh, that I've known for a long time. You know, I've been uh, teaching at Yale University the last few years, and uh, in my research and finding some uh, spiritual uh, music that really exemplified a uh, call and response and really the origins of this music we call jazz, uh, I came across some sorrow songs. And uh, Chain Gang is actually inspired from one of these such sorrow songs that I found that really exemplifies um, the blues and really the spirit of where this music came from. And it's kind of my modern take on, uh, on a work song. Wayne and I are old buddies now. We met uh, in the early 90s with the Mingus Big Band. He's a you know, virtuoso musician and a great guy. I'm excited about this, this new record we're working on today. He wanted everyone to bring in a tune, which is real nice because most usually the leader has his songs. And, but Wayne said he wants everyone in the band to write a tune for the new record. I think it's going to be nice, but we're, we're having a great time. This group has been in existence, I think, for the last four years or so. We did a couple of records before, and uh, we've been touring also, and it's gelling into some, like a nice group with four different personalities that communicate with each, with each other musically. So it feels very exciting and has a good energy. composer and band leader and tenor saxophonist who is really coming into his own and hitting his stride as a leader. And he's always supportive and open, but he also is relatively clear in his conviction, you know? So it's always a pleasure, you know, to hit with these guys. Like uh, Blakey said, you gotta keep supporting live and recorded music. So we the musicians can keep appearing instead of disappearing. A lot of people don't know, but my first introduction into uh, formal musical education was through a uh, world-renowned boys choir, uh, the Trinity Boys Choir in New Haven. One of the composers that stuck with me is a gentleman by the name of Benjamin Britten, and there's a piece we sang, his Misa Brevis. It's just a really beautiful piece that really always meant a lot to me. So I took that um, excerpt from that, the Kyrie, Sanctus and Benedictus, and I reworked it just a little bit, and honestly, I didn't have to do much because uh, uh, he's such an amazing composer and has such great modern harmonies that I really just let the music do what it does, uh, and we just added our touch to it. So I'm really excited for people to hear that sweep and my treatment of those songs. Mm -hmm. 